Hello, I'm Paul Solentrop of the Wichita Eagle. I'm here with Jim Benson of the Pantograph. He covers Illinois State. We're going to give you a little Missouri Valley Conference preview from, uh, from one of the locker rooms here in the Scott Trade Center on Thursday night. We're getting ready for the quarterfinals on Saturday. Uh, Jim, let's start with, I think everybody or most everybody is pointing to a Sunday showdown between Illinois State and Wichita State. Is there a team that can kind of spoil those plans? Boy, you know, it doesn't look like it, Paul. Um, obviously, in a just a one-game setting, a one and done, any, anything is possible. Uh, Wichita State is playing at such a high level now. I don't see them stumbling before Sunday. Um, if you're looking for one team, maybe Illinois State would be, but they kind of got their mojo back, I think, a little bit in their, in their final game at UNI. McIntosh is getting a little healthier game by game. Um, it would take a lot to knock Illinois State off. I would say of the two, Illinois State would have the better chance of getting knocked off before Sunday. Loyola is a team that maybe interests me a little bit, the way they can shoot it. Not very deep, though. Uh, I would have said maybe Northern Iowa two weeks ago, but they've really stumbled coming, coming down the stretch. You, you mentioned Illinois State. They'd played three really tight games, but then uh, they handled Northern Iowa pretty well. Tell us a little bit about what's, what got the Redbirds going on Saturday. I think a lot of it is just McIntosh had – kind of just only been back for about three games before after his knee surgery he's just kind of rounding into shape uh the game before that he didn't even score against southern illinois in 23 minutes but he came back that game uh he's still not healthy i mean he's not going to be healthy probably the, the rest of the season or at least this week you know for sure if you know if the their season you know goes on in another week and a half probably not but they just kind of Offensively, they were kind of in a little bit of a lull a little bit. They kind of got their rhythm back on offense. It really was the first time since McIntosh was back that they played well on both ends of the floor. Yeah, it'll be interesting if how he plays on back-to-back -back days and if they get into Sunday, how that how that might play out for the, for the Redbirds. All right, let's jump ahead again to Sunday. Uh, let's say Wichita State and Illinois State play. One of them is going to lose. My feeling on Wichita State's at-large chances were I, I think they feel pretty good about it. Uh, you know, they're not going to have any bad losses. They're going to have 29 wins in that scenario. Uh, we're already seeing them projections. I think Joe Lenardi has them a seven seed. You're seeing them as an eight and a nine, which would give them some, some room to play with. How do you feel about Illinois State if they end up losing on Sunday? I think if Illinois State's chances for an at-large, if they lose on Sunday, they have to lose, I think, a tight game. If they lose a game... 10 points or more, 15 to 20 points, where they look really bad on national television. Those guys are going to pick them apart for a whole week. Uh, the committee members will be hearing, the, you know, all the prognosticators all week just saying Illinois State doesn't belong. You know, you, you saw that eye test on against Wichita State. I think for Illinois State to have any kind of at-large chance, they would have to play Wichita State a pretty tight game. And then an, even in that scenario, their best chance would probably be going to Dayton like the Shockers did last year. Right, right. But that, that would put them in the tournament. And if you haven't, when you haven't been since 1998, that's a, that's a pretty good You tell them right now, deal. I think they'd take that yeah, almost. Yeah. Do we really want to push our luck for the Missouri Valley Conference and talk about a scenario where Wichita State loses in the – but in the semifinals in the Valley gets three teams in? Oh, boy, I tell you, I think if Wichita State lost in the semifinals, they would really be on the yeah, bubble, too. I mean, a... uh, I, but I just can't see them losing in the semifinals. Yeah. I just, they are so well-rounded. They're so deep. Um, they're playing so well. I, I just can't see the teams on their side of the bracket, any team really yeah. getting within 10 points of them. Wichita State is playing well. All right, well, that'll wrap it up. Jim Benson from the Pantograph, Paul Sontrop of the Wichita Eagle, Kansas.com, lots of tournament coverage at both those, both those places. And the games get, the quarterfinals get started on Friday. Thanks for watching and thanks for reading.